Meanwhile, the 2,750 tonnes of ammonium nitrate which caused the fatal explosion first arrived on leaky Russian-registered cargo ship in Lebanon in September 2013. The captain of the Rosas, Boris Prokoshev, says the ship was transporting the chemicals from Georgia to an explosives manufacturer in Mozambique when they were asked by the ship's owner to stop in Beirut to pick up some roading equipment. Prokoshev says when the ship stopped, it became embroiled in a lengthy dispute over port fees, and he and three crew members spent 11 months on the ship without pay and limited food until the chemicals were seized, unloaded and put in a dock warehouse. He says he had no idea that almost seven years later the chemicals were still at the warehouse. I have no idea why the blast has happened, but I cannot understand the fact that the cargo has been stored there for such a long time. When we had been there for over 10 months, the owner did not claim the cargo. As far as I know, the cargo was unloaded in 2014 or in 2015, and no one claimed it. It was possible to register it as dangerous, as it was indeed dangerous, and to move it to some fields to fertilise soil with, to plough it and to solve the problem. I have no idea why that was not done. Knowing that dangerous cargo is on board a ship in a Beirut port, and when the ship owner asked to go to Cyprus, the authorities should have paid him extra to remove the ship and take this headache away from the port. In this case, it was better if the ship would have sank along with the cargo. It should have been taken into the harbour to anchor it as the first option. The second option was, but it would have involved costs, to tow the cargo away to some other port and unload it there or to sell it. Prokoshev says if he had known what cargo he was transporting at the time, he would have never got on board.